Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mampolo from Mampolo's corner. Renee uh, Maisa. My people, this is uh, uh, Pastor Ebe Adamina. I don't know how to thank you. You've done, uh, you've done a lot in the body of Christ. Mm. Things are getting better mm, because of you and others <laughs> who are still working hard mm. <laughs> to make sure that there is sanity in the body of Christ. All I can say is thank you. Mm. Let's listen to the mindset when you do renew for this week. I don't want to talk too much. Just begin to listen. Watch the video. It's an apology uh, that came from uh, Pastor Eno Kadeboy of Redeemed Church, uh, Christian Church of God, just a few days ago. Okay. Uh, it's apologizing for saying that from the pulpit, two millions of people, that if you do not, if you not, if you don't give your tithe, you're not qualified to go to heaven. You're not going to make it to heaven. So now he's come out to apologize. And I was checking it out on social media and some of the conversations around there, your name was trending, and some of the conversations around there was like, hey, 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 no, you must go and apologize to Dr. Ebel Damina. Have they tried to reach out to you in any way? Because they do owe you an apology. Well, I'm trying to stay away from that conversation. <laughs> no, we have to, now, we have to of, dwell around. The truth of the matter is when I first heard him say, if you don't pay your tithe, you will not go to heaven full stop. Yeah. I screamed. I screamed from my pulpit. I said, "How?" I said, "You people say we are we are attacking Christianity. You people say we are attacking the fathers. You, okay, you people say we are preaching the gospel that make people see because we say what Christ did was complete. And you have not yet called out somebody who said if you don't pay tithe, you will not make it. I think that's the first person you people should be calling out. But they call which us means tithe replaces Christ. The Bible says, "For God so loved the world that He gave His okay. only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, not whoever pays tithe." So right. I got loud on that, right. and people's eyes began to open. Right. So when, when 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 he apologized for me, that was a step in the right direction. For me, that was something, you know, that was a statement mm. that was very weighty, mm. at least for whatever is what. Yeah. People are able to know that okay, there is truth in what I said, and other people have said yeah. concerning the tithe. Yeah. Tithe in no way is a prerequisite to anything in God. Yeah. In no way at all. In no way. Somebody said, "What about Malachi chapter?" Well, Malachi chapter 3 was not written to you. It was written to the priests who were receiving tithe, but they were not paying the tithe of Not for us. So Malachi said, then you guys, you priests, you are cursed with a curse. Mm. It wasn't given to us. But even if it was given to the, the Christians, Galatians 3 it eradicates Malachi. Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Yeah. We made a cause for us, for it is written, cause is everyone that hangeth on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles, that we might receive the promised spirit. Faith. Mm. Christ has sorted all that out. Mm. So that's why the New Testament says God loves a cheerful giver. Yeah. The New Testament says if a man giveth according to what he has, it is accepted. There are no hard rules on it. Mm. It's just generosity. And I always say this when you see Jesus, money loses value. Mm. When you really see Jesus, mm. Jesus is on a donkey to Jerusalem. Mm. And people saw Jesus on the donkey and began to bring out their jewelry, their gold, and they put it on the ground. Mm. Because you can't really see Jesus and money. You cannot serve God and mammon, yeah. but you can serve God with mammon. When you see Jesus and you see his love, you see what he has done for you, his grace, his mercy. You want to promote what he has done for you so other people can also benefit from it. Right. So generosity is natural. I always say to people, people think I preach against giving. No, I preach against transaction. Yes. You cannot be a child of God and not be a giver. Yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave. If it is in God's character to give, it means if you are born of God, in your DNA is the desire to give, mm -hmm. but not manipulated giving, yeah. not fear-based giving, yeah. not transactional giving, but giving out of generosity, expecting nothing in return. Yeah. Somebody says to me, so what is the benefit of my giving? The benefit of my giving is that when I give, what I give for is done. If I gave for you to go to school, you went to school. That's my reward. Right. That through my giving, you went to school. So the beneficiary of my giving is not me. Mm. The beneficiary of my giving is the person to whom I gave it to. Mm. And that's my reward for giving. Mm. You know, so, mm. and, and, and that is shifting the whole narrative. Yeah. Yeah. It's shifting it. And yeah. we're going to get more louder. Yeah. Because that whole thing has to give way. Mm. You, let me be honest with you. There are pastors in Africa. If you take giving, money, tighten out of ministry, they will stop. They will not do ministry. I can tell you that for free. They won't do that one. They will get out of ministry. Mm. Because some are in it as a business. Yeah. They see that, okay, yeah. now, you know, I am through with school, no jobs in the secular world, God has called me. Then they start their church without even sound Bible training. Mm. They begin to abuse scriptures, mm. teach scriptures out of context, twist things around. Mm. Some will say, I'm a prophet, mm. I'm beginning to see visions and all that. And they use that as a means of making money. Let me tell you this, uh, Uncle Solomon. If I never came after the tithing and the transactional gospel, nobody would persecute me. Nobody will attack me. 
the attacks really started mm. when I started talking against the transactional gospel. Now God is a father, is not a businessman. So why is that? Because that is what many people are in need for. It's a whole industry. A lot of your friends? Well, my friends, some of them don't want to talk to me anymore, but I don't care. <laughs> they didn't call me. When I leave this one, I'm not going to go to them. And a lot of people that you know. Because, I mean, you know... I lost quite. But I made up my mind that I was, going to, I was ready to lose because Jesus said, if I am your Lord and I was persecuted, if you preach, you'll be persecuted. Mm. Now, look at it. When I was preaching the transactional prosperity, but nobody persecuted me. Yeah, you were loved. Everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I can call names, all the big names. Yeah. I was hanging out with them. you. Everywhere. Come preach. The moment I started preaching, Christ is enough. Christ is more than enough. The death, burial, and resurrection as my emphasis. The persecution started coming. Well, I come. So which means, I'm in the right path. Mm. Mm. Because if Christ was persecuted and I'm preaching and I'm persecuted, I must be. And I've said to preachers, if what you're preaching does not attract persecution, we examine the content of your message. Good. You're throwing it too much then. Yes. If, it you're, it attract, if you're not persecuted yeah. for what you're preaching, yeah. you need to go back and re examine the content of your message because you can't be holier and better than Jesus. Mm. Jesus was persecuted. The 12, how did they die? Some of them were yeah. butchered. Some yeah. of them for the gospel. Crucified and then you God. are preaching gospel. And you're buying cars, jets, you're living big, you're Everybody having a good life, you. people love you, yeah. everywhere you are a star. <laughs> Something no doesn't way. add up. No way. Something doesn't add up. If they were persecuted for this same gospel, yeah. people died for this same gospel. Missionaries came to preach to us and died for this same gospel. Mm. The rich left their wealth to come and preach this same gospel. Mm. And you are preaching it right. These symptoms, all of these mm. characteristics will be seen around you. Persecution, rejection, you know, attacks, blackmails. People come out against you mm. because Satan will not fold his hand and what you do in the right thing, he will attack. So if you're preaching, if you're a pastor or a man of God, or a woman of God, and I think if you're watching this, this broadcast, wherever you are, get more pastors, as many pastors, especially young pastors and believers who, are, who have been disgruntled to people that are put out of church. Let me tell you this, on my way to South Africa, I stopped by, you know, uh, somewhere I, because I, I did a connection oh, flight. Come when come I go in the lounge, a lady just saw me walk to me and said, Dr. Damien, and I said, yes. She, she may be watching this. She said, I wish I listened to you before I left Christianity. I said, I've just been telling my husband that I wish I listened to you before I left Christianity. I'm no more a Christian. I said, why? She said, these things you are preaching and exposing yeah. now, where it is are questions and nobody answered. Oh. So I felt Christianity is a hoax, is a scam. Yeah. It's a scam. Left. But now, then I started listening to you. I'm not a Christian, mm. but I don't stay away from listening. Mm. And I want to keep listening. And I want us to establish a contact. I'm a journalist, she yeah. said. And then I gave her my number. And then, you know, we started chatting and all that. But the point is, I've come across many people. Uncle Solomon, I can tell you this for free. Many all over the world, even Muslims, who said, you know, in Islam, we know that there's Christ, but we don't have teachings. Yeah. So now we're hearing you teach Christ, Christ, Christ. We're interested. So we follow you. Because we want to really know about this Isa, this Christ. Yeah. We yeah. want to learn of you. Yeah. And a lot of them are following. Mm. And they say, I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say it. Yeah. I'm learning Christ from you. Mm. And people are coming, even traditional worshippers, even people that are called atheists. Yes. You know, they, they are coming yes. back to say, yes. Yes. questions we ask in church and nobody answers. What you're preaching is answering my question, so I want to hear more. Mm. Because Jesus is the desire of all nations, yes. all men seeking. Yeah. And if we preach him well, mm. the whole world will come to this knowledge. The voice and presence of Dr. Abel Damina, the state of the African church, the damage caused by the prosperity gospel, prophetic movement gospel, <laughs> which have produced a lot of scammers. But today we call them apostles, prophets, bishops, sadly. Come on. We're here at the Rice Studios in Renberg, Johannesburg, South Africa. This is the end of the part two. We'll move straight to the part three of this special interview. Thank, Thank you, Abad Amena. Oh, no, don't see him now. <laughs> now, let me come to my people one day for abroad. One won't send money. Guys, for most of you who always ask me, Man Polo, what is the best way? <laughs> what is the best way to send money back home to Nigeria? <laughs> The best way is tap tap send. They are very quick, very reliable. No fee, everything free. <laughs> very high rate as well. You can choose to receive both in dollar and in naira, anyone where you like. <laughs> now your choice. If you can't add my promo code, MAMPOLO, all capital letter, if you mistake put them, they add more money for you. <laughs> if, you are, if you are the first user, they will add more money for you. If you are in the UK, they will add more five pounds. If you are in the US, more $10. If you are in Canada, more $10. If you are any part of Europe, more five euros. <laughs> so now, if you are in the UK, if you are in Canada, America, any part of any part of Europe, or say so quick. Go to your app store now if you have not downloaded. Mm. Don't allow people to rip you off.
Other people, I will be telling you, oh, you need five pound fee for hundred pound, for hundred euro, for hundred dollar. You need to pay five pound. You need to five, pay five euro. You need to pay five dollar. We don't do it in tap tap send. We don't do it. Just download and send for free. And their rate is out of this world. Mm. Don't forget my promo code, Mampolo. You will be fine. Make a the roll and they go. Make a the roll and they go. I heard somebody said that um, ten percent tight is entry level. Pastor Deboy said it. That is for beginners. Says for beginners. The real tight is 30, 40 percent. Mm -hmm. Does he understand the word tight? I don't know. Once it's more than 10 percent, it's no more tight. Mm. Tight means tenth. Mm. Leave that side. Leave that side. Leave that thing. <laughs> Allah. Anything above 10 percent mm. is no more tight. Mm -mm. It's given. Anything under ten percent is not tight. Mm. It is tight because it is ten percent. It is not ten. It's not tight. Mm. We need to correct these things normally. We are teaching generosity. They say we are, our mouth is smelly. Yes. Now they have joined us to teach generosity, and they are calling it tight. Uh. Anyhow you put it, it can never be correct until it is well defined. Def That's the problem I have. Tight is ten percent. There is no right. entry level. No introductory. Once it is tight, it is 10%. Don't no kindergarten, no adult class. Mm. All of them are classified in one class. Mm. Under the law, no graduation, no admission. All of you are members of the same class. Mm. So as long as it is tight, it is 10. Once it's 10.1, it's no more tight. It has moved to giving. Mm -hmm. So remove the title tight. Free the people to give. Free them. Free. Allow people to give willingly. I'm not here. You are causing problem. It's all right. Continue. If I'm teaching somebody, shout, I hear you. I hear you. Go back, go back to Hebrews. <laughs> Free the people. Jesus paid for them. Free them. Let them serve God freely. For God loved a cheerful a giver. Cheerful, every man according as he has proposed Propose. in his heart. Mm -hmm. So let him give. give. If a man giveth according to what he has, it is asked. What are you talking about? Free these people. Let them serve God. That's true. Genuine plead. The revelation of Jesus. Beyond superstition. Mm. Let my people go. Mm. Let my people go. Stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has set you free and be not entangled again with the yoke of whom the Son sets free is, is free, free indeed. indeed. Let my people go. Mm. Yes, it's all right, sir. It's all right. Do that. Don't do. You don't do. Me, me, the cut. I'm short, short. Ah, well, Ebed, I mean, Zukwanike, make you rest for our father. Mm. You know, our father, uh, Adebo, is getting age now. Not be everything when he go talk. We go the see him as he day before again. Me, we the pity, pity him. They follow him. You know, at least they don't apologize. Uh, but that he apologize, now he apologize. Finish now. He come they talk many, many talk again. Join inside. Uh, so make you come add the tight to 50%, 40%, 30%. That is when you are giving the rate tight. I don't understand where he's bringing it from. We'll be the doing small, small, say, oh, oh, our father don't they repent uh, gradually now. He don't they change them again. <laughs> now it be the problem. Hey, Bell, hey, Bell, carry on, carry on, carry on. Next video. I heard somebody said that if you don't pay your tight, you will go to heaven, but you will go like Lazarus. <laughs> what is that? If you don't pay your tight, you will go to heaven. But you will go to heaven in a Lazarus style. With this your head. You'll be very poor in this world. But you will still get to heaven. Mm. Lazarus went to heaven, but he went to heaven as a poor man. Leave me like he that. He went to heaven, his body was already eaten up with warm. That one don't there do. There were sores all over his body. In fact, before the poor man with his sore and dirty body get there. To so dirty heaven. Abraham was there. We have told you, come, let's teach you Bible. That they hear? You are refusing. Ignorance will continue to disgrace you. Is that they hear? Mugus. Where did the Bible ever say Lazarus paid tight? Mm. There's no such account. Oh, so the rich man did he pay tight? Mm. There's no tithing in that scripture. 
All that scripture is talking about is justification by faith. Everything is money. The rich man did not believe the gospel. He was in hell. Lazarus believed the gospel. He was in the bosom. Bosom doesn't mean a bad place. Bosom means corpus. That is, they saw Lazarus and Abraham together. It's not a bad thing. That is actually the height of righteousness. The bosom of Abraham, the corpus. That means Abraham and Lazarus were in the same state. No one was superior. No one was inferior. Corpus, the bosom of Abraham. Just like Jesus is in the bosom of the Father. That, you read? that is okay. Come and describe to me those uh, these pastors, their qualities, their characteristics, how then they behave. You see all these pastors, when, when they be say, oh, they are center point in our money, money. Describe to me how, how we go take note of them, how they behave. Mm, watch the video. Fathers for sale. Fathers for sale. You see a young man enter ministry, all he wants to do is make money quickly so he can buy a father. See that? What connected them? Money, money. You can buy yourself a father. Beloved brothers and sisters, your source can affect your size. So, sir, I want you to know that we are excited to be tied to your apron. You can arrange miracles. You can fake prophecies as long as you are making returns. You are a holy son. You cannot go and see your father if you don't have an envelope. Uh, I never either. approach any of the fathers of faith with my hands empty. No. So. Even if I bump into them i have to find a way to say ah look this is a transactionary that's why the gospel they preach must reflect that relationship mm -hmm. i know this thing oh. i know this thing no matter how gifted you are with the grace of god if you don't have money you cannot be recognized by it. these fathers mm -hmm. every time you come you must bring an envelope and the size of your envelope will determine the type of smile you will get mm -hmm. listen i know what i'm talking about the DNA of ministry is not money. The DNA of ministry is doctrine. Timothy, my son. Why did he call him my son? I have begotten you through the gospel. You are my son because the DNA of the gospel in you came from me. Ministry fatherhood is not valued by money. It's valued by doctrine. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, our father. It's all right. I'm tired. Mm. Guys, if you love your doing here, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, on X. All I'm Apollos. I love you guys. Peace out.